thank you for your purchase of the Amco 4000E brake lathe with variable speed and electronic variable feed. This video will guide you through many of the features, uses, and recommendations of your new brake lathe. Principal operating parts. Maximum performance and safety will be obtained only when all persons using the unit are fully trained in its parts and operation. Each user should learn the function and location of all controls. You can prevent accidents and injuries by ensuring the unit is properly installed, operated, and maintained. These are the principal operating parts. Control console. Spindle arbor. Grease fitting, cross feed gearbox, oil dipstick, drive motor pulley guard, drum feed gearbox assembly, twin cutter equipped with positive rake tool bits, negative rake tool bits optional. Work light, spindle lock knob, cross feed hand wheel, feed lever, cross feed lock knob, spindle speed adjusting lever, power cord, on off switch, boring bar and boring clamp. Control console components. Rotor rough cut, press to activate. Rotor finish cut, press to activate. Rotor start stop, press to start or stop feed. Minus, press to decrease feed rate value displayed. Feed rate display, indicates the value selected for rough and finish feed rates. Plus, press to increase the feed rate value displayed. Drum spindle jog, moves the spindle in direction indicated when in drum mode. Drum rough cut, press to activate. Drum finish cut, press to activate. Drum start stop, press to start or stop feed. Speed and feed reference chart. Basic operation. To completely understand drum and rotor turning, you must have a knowledge of the lathe itself. Spindle. The spindle is a motor-driven shaft that turns the arbor upon which the brake drum or rotor is mounted. By turning the drum or rotor and holding a cutting tool against the braking surface, metal can be removed. Do not move or adjust the spindle speed lever without the drive motor running. Damage may occur to the unit. Spindle jog. By operating the spindle jog buttons, the spindle will move to the left or right as desired to position the workpiece. Note that the spindle jog is active only in the drum mode of operation. Spindle feed rate. Spindle's feed rate refers to the amount of movement the spindle travels per revolution. This feed rate is electronically controlled using the plus or minus buttons on the control console drum feed adjustments. Spindle speed and adjustment. Spindle speed is measured in RPM, revolutions per minute, and is adjustable using the three position speed lever at the front of the machine. Spindle speed adjustment is accomplished by moving the three position speed adjustments lever up or down to achieve 100, 150, or 200 RPM choices. Important, do not adjust the spindle speed unless the lathe is running. Speed and feed reference chart. Refer to the chart on the lathe for typical speed and feed rates. Use this guideline as a starting point and then fine-tune the settings according to your specific application. Note, 
These are only suggested speed and feed ranges. Adjust settings as needed to find the optimum setting and tooling use for your specific application. Crossfeed. The crossfeed draws the tool bit across the face of a brake rotor or flywheel when the crossfeed drive is engaged. The crossfeed may also be operated manually using the crossfeed hand wheel. Feed speed refers to the rate of movement that the cutting tools move per revolution of the spindle. The crossfeed speed is variable as indicated on the control console. Note, the crossfeed has rough and finished settings. Both are variable using the control console. Crossfeed hand wheel and feed lever. Clockwise rotation of the crossfeed hand wheel moves the cutting tool in towards the lathe. Counterclockwise rotation of the crossfeed hand wheel moves the cutting tool away from the lathe. Engaging the feed lever completes the feed cycle. Twin cutter. A twin cutter tool is used to recondition both surfaces of a brake rotor at the same time. The twin cutter replaces the boring bar on top of the crossfeed after removing the upper and lower toolbar clamps. Mount the twin cutter on the crossfeed with a stud bolt extending through the cast slot. The slot helps center the twin cutter to the rotor. Secure the twin cutter to the crossfeed with self-aligning nut and washer assembly. Tighten the nut firmly. Mounting drums or rotors using the AMCO double chuck adapter. Thoroughly clean the surface of the rotor or drum that will be mounted on the double chuck. Place the hubless rotor or drum on a flat, clean surface. Install the double chuck by positioning the appropriate jaws in the center hole. Tighten the jaws by inserting the key into one of the key slots in the side of the chuck, turning counterclockwise. The double chuck will automatically self-center the rotor or drum. Note, make sure that the chuck jaws are tight. Caution, do not leave the key in the key slot when starting the brake lathe. Install the backing plate under the brake lathe arbor with offset facing outward. Install the double chuck with rotor or drum installed under the one inch arbor. Use the spacers supplied with the brake lathe so that it extends out to the arbor threads. Use the arbor nut supplied with the machine and tighten the nut against the spacers. After tightening the double chuck, turn on the brake lathe to check for runout of the rotor or brake drum. Machine the rotor or drum. Note. Always use the backing plate to help eliminate rotor or drum vibration during turning. If necessary, use a small spacer before the installation of the backing plate. Thank you again for your purchase of the Amco 4000E brake lathe with variable speed and electronic variable feed.